start the warm up. My name is Jason. Our first exercise here is going to be I Y C T. We're going to make a thumbs up here, pushing your hips back, back, nice and flat. Look for I, biceps by your ears wide, 45 degrees. T behind us. There we go, y'all. Eyes wide and T's. Make sure we keep a slight bend in our knees. Chest nice and proud. There we go. Biceps by your ears. Keep going, y'all. Great job, everyone. How are you doing today? here is going to be marching arm circles, some marching plays here, arms out to our sides, we'll take those arms forward, there we go y'all, let's straight ahead here, knees as high as we can, there we go y'all, feel those shoulders burning a little bit, alright, so, switch directions here, go backwards, alright let's get that body going, come on, warm up, warm up, let's feel it, what is it? Almost there, almost there. That's it, that's it. That's how we do it in SF, come on. Are we ready for today? Yeah. yeah. Are we ready for today? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. All right, y'all, next exercise, toy soldiers. So we're trying to touch our opposite arm, our opposite toe. Try to keep your front leg straight. Chest nice and proud. Can't touch your toe, touch your shin. Can't touch your shin, touch your knee. There we go, y'all. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Just like Frankenstein. Keep that leg straight. Try to keep that leg straight. All right, I'm just gonna feel all year. A stretch in the back of our legs, our hamstrings. Keep going, y'all. There we go, y'all. Good. Use your upper body. Use your upper body as well. How are we doing over here? Make sure our back is flat, chest is nice and proud. Go free. Move with it, move with it. Nice. All right, y'all, for our next warm up here, we're going to be getting in a plank position. Wrists underneath our shoulders, back is nice and flat. We are dug into the ground. From here, we reach over, make a T with our body. Try not to move our hips as we do this. Make sure we're only trying to rotate. Or chest, there you go. There we go, y'all. Make sure you look up all the way to the ceiling. Oh, wide as you can, as wide as you can. Look out the front of your head. Yeah, yeah. Right. Good, good way. Keep those toes planted. Good job, everyone. So, good. Make sure your hips stay stable. Widen your stance so you start to feel your hips this way. Yeah. Just to find out that that's the Can you open up your leg? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. That'll be a greater basic support. Alright, y'all. Next Beautiful. one here. Stand up. Grab our toes. Try to squat as low as we can. Come up. Try to keep your back flat, chest nice and proud. Sit in between our legs here. There you go, y'all. Chest up, chest up. Back there we go, y'all. Look straight ahead. Really open up our groin area, our adductors. Get ready for this workout. There we go, y'all. So try to touch your toes if you can. Keep that contact. Can't go all the way down. Just go as low as we can. All right, y'all. Stand up here. Next exercise is A skips. So knees up as high as we can. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Try to get into a rhythm reach here. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Get that full range of motion on that shoulder. There we go, y'all. Knees up as high as we can. Try to get that knee in line with their hip. Here. Try to touch your heels 
Push your arm off the leg here. Chest nice and proud. Okay, those arms. Good. Sing those arms. Make sure you pump those heels. Here, speed skaters. Step to one side. Try to tap your back foot. Chest nice and proud. Woo. Use your arms for counter movement. Oh man. I'm feeling this warm up, y'all. There we go. Wow, this is Olympic level speed skating. Wow. <laughs> you guys make sure we use those arms to help those arms, those arms. Oh, okay. Very nice. That's a pro. The opposite. <laughs> you are ready for the gold medal. Up, up, up. Going down, up. Up, 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 up. All right, y'all. Big feet, big feet. Drop. Arrow. There we go. Drop. Big feet, big feet. Drop. We grab your drop. Back is nice and flat. Chest nice and proud. Drop. 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 Oh, man. Big feet, big feet. Almost there. If a circuit one for CFL would do sit a stand, make sure to have a chair near you. Put your hands on your shoulders and keep your back straight as you go down on the edge of the chair. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and have space between your back and the back of the chair. For LGM and active, we're doing a squat. Put your hands on your shoulders and keep your back straight as you go down. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and make sure to not let your knees go inwards. For performance, we'll be doing a jump squat. This is an explosive movement when you jump up. Make sure to go down into a squat position, bring your hands behind your torso. Bring your hands forward when you jump up. Make sure to land on your toes softly to absorb all the energy and remember to go down into a full squat. Jump up explosive at the top. Reach for the stars and go back down. Very nice. I know it's starting to get tiring. Almost there. Relax. Very good. For CFL, we'll be doing a boat hole on a chair. Make sure to extend your legs with your toes pointing up to the sky. You're going to be on the edge of the chair and recline. Make sure not to touch the back of the chair. Bring your hands up to your ears and your legs off the ground and hold this position. For LGM and active, we'll be doing the bow hole on the floor. Make sure to bring your hands up to your ears, slightly bring your torso up from the floor, as well as, as, well as your legs. For active and performance, we'll be doing a dead bug. Get on the floor line on your back. Bring your legs up into a 90 degree angle. Your fingers should be pointed up to the sky. One arm goes behind your ears so the opposite leg is extended. Do this to the other hand and leg. Make sure to hold it, contract. Make sure your lower back is completely on the mat. There should be no space between your lower back and the floor. Good job. 
my hand. Try to squeeze my hand. Do lower back, lower back. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Try to play your toes for For CFO, we can do the tandem stance. Make sure you're behind the chair to have that support. Your toes and heels should be touching and bring your hands up close to your ears. Make sure you keep looking forward and hold this position. For LGM, we're going to do a single leg extension. Extend your leg behind you, making sure your toes are still touching the floor. Bring all your weight to the leg underneath you. Make sure your hips is facing the floor. Bring your hands up to your ears and hold this position. Make sure to alternate legs. For active, we're going to do single leg extension. Extend your leg behind you, making sure your toes is off the floor. Bring all your weight underneath your leg. Make sure your hips is facing the floor. And bring your hips up to your ears. For performance, we're going to bring our legs forward to a 90 degree angle. Then we're going to extend it behind us, making sure it doesn't touch the floor. Your toes should be pointing down to the floor. Bring all your weight down to your leg underneath you. Make sure your hips is facing the floor. Bring your hands up to your ears and hold this position. Slide that foot back. Try to hold it for three and come back. Very good. Three, two, one. For our CFL, we will be doing an RDL. You will start with your feet hip width apart with a slight bend in those knees. You will shoot your hips back like you're looking over a cliff, ensuring that your back stays straight. From here, you will shoot your arms up close to your ears, trying to create a I. From there, you'll come out and create a Y followed by a T. Try to keep your thumbs up while you're doing this so it's a little easier. For our LGM, RDL, we will start off with our feet hip width apart, slight bend in those knees, shooting our hips back like we're looking over a cliff. From here, we're gonna place our hands on our thighs and we're gonna slowly slide them down. It's as if you're shaving your legs, if that helps to picture. When you come up, you're gonna squeeze the top and come back down. A common mistake here is overarching of your back. We don't wanna see that, so try to keep your back flat by rolling back your shoulders. For active lifestyle, you will start off in a split stance, which means one foot in front of the other. Make sure that front leg is slightly bent and the back leg will stay straight. From here, hands will remain in front of you, close to your thighs, and you're gonna lean forward and come back up, ensuring that your back stays straight and that we are not overarching our back. And for performance, we will do a single leg RDL. We'll start off in our split stance, similar to active lifestyle, except now we will shift our weight to our front leg as our back leg goes up, ensuring that that toe is pointed down. From here, we will hinge forward closer to that front foot and come back up. A common mistake is swaying of the hips or turning that hip outward. Let's try to keep our hips pointed forward in line with your body. Perfect. Let's make sure we have a slight bend in our knees and keep it locked. Shoot those hips back. I see that we're quite a bit. So keep it slightly bent. Yes. 
now all of the just closing that car door with your booty. Very nice. Okay, make sure you keep that back straight. Don't curve it too much. Where are we feeling it right now? Where? Where are we feeling it? Oh, long as you have the fucking table. Very nice. But a lot of us tend to round the back. Try to keep it back as um, straight as possible. So keep your shirt logo pointing forward. Very nice. You are almost there. Land in three, two, one, and time. For circuit two, CFL, you will need a bench or a sturdy surface to perform this movement. We will start off with our hands on the bench, making sure that your shoulders are in line with your wrists, and you will inch, your, inch way your worm back until you're into that high plank position. From here, you will hold this for three seconds and inch worm your way back up. So for circuit two of LGM, we're gonna start off in a low plank. So on the ground, you're gonna make sure that your shoulders are in line with your elbows. You're gonna dig your toes into the ground and you're gonna lift up, engaging your core. Common mistake here is lifting your hips too far up, causing it to look like a mountaintop. We don't want that. Or causing your hips to drop too low. Ideally, you want it to be as flat as a tabletop. You're gonna hold it here for 45 seconds. Similar to Let's Get Moving, we will start off on the ground. Differences, we're gonna be in a high plank, so you're gonna ensure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrists and feet are in line with your hips. From here, we're gonna make sure that our neck is neutral and that we hold a tabletop position. We don't wanna see any mountain tops or your hips dropping too low, similar to LGM. You just wanna hold it flat here for 45 seconds. And for our performance group, we will start off in a high plank position and we can widen our base of support by separating your feet a little bit wider. You're gonna do a three-point touch, alternating sides. Common mistake here is swaying of the hips. We don't wanna see that, so try to keep your hips stable. Let's go, 45 seconds here. Great job, try to make those shoulders in line with your wrist perfect. You know it's hard don't tuck in your chin. Make sure your head is relaxed. You are fine. Just look straight. Just make sure, yeah. Just make sure you're not tucking in your chin, right? Great job. You are more than halfway there. Beautiful work. How are we feeling? Can anyone say? God, you're burning, right? You're almost there. You're going to end in five, four, three, two, and one. For CFL, we will be doing clamshells. All you need is a chair. You're going to start off by sitting at the edge of your chair with your feet in front of you at a 90 degree. From here, you will place your arms in front of you, making sure that your thumbs are pointing to the sky. You will open and close your arms and legs simultaneously. Trying to repeat this motion. For LGM, we will be doing a sidestep shuffle. You will start off with your feet shoulder width apart, ensuring that your back is straight, pretending like you're seated in a chair with your arms in front of you. From here, you will take three steps to your right, followed by three steps to your left. Common mistakes is overarching of the back. We don't want to see that, so try to keep your back straight. Another mistake is straightening your knees in between each step. Try to stay low throughout the entire exercise. For active lifestyle, you will start off similar to LGM in that squat position and take three steps to your left. The difference is here you will take a turn to your backside and to the front, followed by your three steps to the left. And now for performance, we will start off in that squat position. You're going to take three steps to your right followed by a jump towards the back and then a jump forwards. After this, you will take three steps to your left and do the same jump. A common mistake here is landing flat-footed. We don't want to do that. Try to land on the balls of your feet. In three, two, one. Let's crush it right here. But the main thing is, you know, let's get moving or sit nice and low. Beautiful work, chest nice and proud. Very good job. Active. One, two, three, and 
Start with CFL, being against the wall. Bring your arms and press against it at shoulder height. Put, plant your foot backwards and come straight down and straight back up. Make sure to use that wall as a base of support. Similar to CFL, LGM will have the same stance, one leg front in front, one leg in the back. You're gonna keep a nice upright posture, come straight down with your knee underneath your hip and your other knee on top of your ankle. Similar to LGM, active will start with a large step, going into a similar position, keeping your form nice and upright, and then returning back into starting position. Performance will be performing a reverse lunge. Similar to active, instead of going forward, you will go back. Make sure to keep that nice posture the whole time. Look forward. I don't want to see you coming into it. I want you to just step over and come down. Whack it with your lunge in there. And you start to go back in there. Keep it up. I need to hear that breathing though. Come on. We need that oxygen to live. In five, four, four three, three, two, two and one. The next exercise, see if it will go up against the wall. I want you to put your hands against the wall. Step back, get your feet hip width apart keeping your back nice and straight, aligned with your hips and legs. You're gonna push into the wall and then push out. For LGM, I want you to find a bench or a lower hard surface. Take a few steps back until you have a nice straight posture. I want you not to raise your hips and not to have your hips low. Make sure it's nice and straight like a table. You're gonna come down into the bench and then push away from it. Keep those toes planted while you continue this movement. For active, I want you to get safely on the ground. Having your hands directly underneath your shoulders, kick out your legs, get those toes nice and planted. I want your back straight. Don't drop your hips and don't raise them. Make sure it's nice and straight. Come straight down and come back up. Try to keep those arms close to your body. For performance, it's gonna be a similar movement. Getting your arms at a staggered position, one underneath your shoulders and one a little bit in front. You're gonna keep that nice straight posture the whole time as well, just having your arms staggered. Let's go. CFL next, what we're gonna do is stepping jacks. I want you to step out to the side, bring your arms up and clap. For our LGM, we will be doing normal jumping jacks. I want you to jump out and jump back in while bringing your arms above your head. For active and performance, we will be doing star jacks. As you're doing your jumping jacks, you're gonna propel yourself off the ground. Otherwise, keep pushing through it. Very nice. 
beautiful work as well. Woo! Jumping nice and high. You are all stars. You're killing this work.